some of you may be aware of the Supreme Court decision. I don't know how many in the audience is, but sort of um, open, I think our president might agree about it too, but opens the door for um, tremendous, um, I think, abuse of our system. That's personal comment. But what I'd like to know is if you would um, move to or support setting political contributions, uh, these are direct contributions. Pennsylvania obviously has no limit on direct contributions to candidates, although we have to use um, Coke money, PAC money, whatever you want to call it. So the question is, would you support um, limits on direct contributions? You don't need to comment on the Supreme Court. I think just focusing on the hard dollar contribution. And we're starting with um, Mr. Wagner. Oh, great. I keep doing this. You're good. Uh, yeah, I would, yes, I would support this. Thanks, Beth. Uh, because it's just gotten out of control. It's, it's unbelievable the amount of money they have to raise for the campaign. And as candidates have spent half, three quarters of the time trying to raise money instead of going around and talking to the people of the state about the real concerns that you have, what your vision is for the state, and how you would change the state, and what type of leader you are. And so I do believe in changes. I think they should be made so that uh, we can spend more time addressing the challenges that we have in the state of Pennsylvania. I think it would provide the voters of the state greater opportunity to understand who the people are running for elected office in our state. I, I do support contribution limits. Um, it works well at the federal level. Uh, it should be imposed here at the state level. We need um, more transparency in campaign uh, reporting and spending. Uh, we need to enforce the laws we have more vigorously. Uh, the the uh, impact of, uh, of private money in public election, elections is a corrupting influence. And we need to have as much transparency and open, openness as we can. Um, I, would, I would set the, uh, the contribution limits for an individual and a PAC at the same. Uh, unlike the federal system, to, to give the um, impact of individual donations uh, uh, a higher uh, level. So I, I would be comfortable with a $5,000 limit for both individual and PACs. Uh, I think that would uh, make it a, a much more uh, fair and responsive system. Uh, I uh, put out a government reform paper, policy paper on the governor, and in that paper I talked about campaign finance reform. Uh, I do support uh, the state moving to the limits federal government use. Obviously, the federal government has been using it for a long time. They work. Uh, I support the state following the same type of limits. Also, transparency. Uh, using modern technology, now with the internet, with all the computers, with all the technology that's available to us, <coughs> this should be full instant dis disclosure electronically, so you can look at it from your desk, and anybody in the public has a right to see who's giving, how much they're giving, where do they work. Uh, there's no excuse that we don't take advantage of the modern technology that's at our fingertips right now for full disclosure and for transparency. Uh, I, uh, I've uh, started this in my county where we now put on all of our reports locally, even for the municipal level, uh, on the internet, as soon as they're filed, they get uh, scanned in and they're up for anybody to see. So transparency and limits are key if you're gonna have true reform. Pennsylvania is one of five states uh, that can, does not have limitations placed on political contributions. Uh, we're living in the dark ages. Uh, contributions continue to influence this government, uh, personal contributions and PAC contributions. And, you know, let's be real about this topic. Uh, we have some serious problems in state government. That's one of the reasons why when I started out, I said we need to reform this government. We need to reform it through a constitutional a session or specifically changing certain critical aspects of state government. We have to clean up state government. We have people being charges, uh, charges placed against them and indictments almost every week. Uh, some of them are valid, some of them probably are not valid. But we're all embarrassed about Pennsylvania state government today. I see fraud, waste, and abuse in state government all the time. And I report it to the proper agency. It begins in the political process. The political process has to be cleaned up in state government. There has to be limitations on what people can receive. 
what they can spend in campaigns. And we're never going to clean this government up until that happens. Okay, so this is the last question and then um, closing statements. So um, what, what we all want is we want one of these gentlemen to be our governor come November, right? Yeah. So